it's that time of year again to help people who are less fortunate than we are, especially those not knowing where their next meal will come from. The 2023 Rotary Harvest Sharing Food Drive is being held this Friday, October 6th and Saturday, October 7th in support of the Brockland Area Food Bank and the South Grenville Food Bank. Rotarian David Keenlyside, co-chair of this year's Harvest Sharing Food Drive, tells us about this year's drive. We're accepting donations here on Friday, October 7th, uh, right at the uh, sorting station here uh, from 9 in the morning until 7 at night, and then again on the Saturday, 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon, uh, and people can donate right, at, right on site here, and we'll uh, take it from their car and uh, bring it right into, this, into Stingers and get it all set up for them. There are many ways for people to donate to this year's food drive. Well, we've got a lot of options, really. Um, the one uh, way that people have often donate is giving uh, food donations. And that's the easiest thing to do, which is to drop it here at, right off at, at Stingers. Uh, and then we will uh, take the donations and sort them for the food bank. And then we'll uh, eventually compile all of the donations and get them down to the food bank to put on their shelves. The other route uh, that people can uh, donate through is uh, just go to your grocery stores or to Giant Tiger. And uh, all those merchants are, are accepting uh, food donations and cash donations uh, that you can uh, that you can make a, a contribution that way as well. If you want to make a donation by way of uh, an online donation, go rotarybrockville.ca. Uh, then you'll be prompted to go to a donate, uh, a donate button and you can choose to either donate to the Prescott food bank or you can donate to the Brockville food bank or you can donate directly to Rotary and we'll take care of it for you. So there's that route. Um, you can also make a donation here at the uh, at the sorting station by way of cash or check and this year we're actually taking donations by way of square so you can do a, a debit uh, transaction here. Also uh, you can do a, a PayPal donation through the online uh, uh, avenue as well. It takes a lot of volunteers to host the annual food drive, from sorters to pickup drivers and more. We've got lots of volunteers, uh, primarily from our Rotary Clubs of Brockville. We have the Brockville Club of the Thousand Islands, and then we also have the Rotary, uh, Brockville Rotary Club. And uh, we also have some great support from some of our community partners uh, that have been so generous of their time. And uh, so we've got lots and lots of hands on deck to help us uh, be successful this year. As the food bank's visitor counts increases, so does the food bank needs. The need has never been greater. All, all the volunteers at the, at the food bank tell us that the, it's a really, really, really important to have community support. I read an article uh, earlier this week that 7 million Canadians live in food insecurity. Now we can't fix the national problem, but we can certainly get together and fix it on a community level. So uh, it's really important that we all get behind this to help the uh, community members that we know uh, and that we live next to that aren't doing as well as some of us. So uh, it's a really important initiative. As well this Friday, Brothel's Bounce and Move radio stations are hosting their annual food bank fill-up at the Real Canadian Superstore in Brockville. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. they'll be broadcasting live from the Superstore and taking donations for the food bank. To donate online, please visit rotarybrockville.ca and scroll down to special events, then food drive. For Hometown TV 12, Dale Elliott in Brockville.